everyone. Today is vlogging day 32. I guess they're excited too. <laughs> um, it's day 32, you guys. I just took a shower. I'm wearing my Raven shirt. Shout out to the DMV. You already know. <laughs> I'm just being really dumb right now. But um, I'm in good spirits, you guys. Today is a brand new day. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can hear that, but someone was just blasting Usher. Um, shout out to Sh uh, not Shannon, uh, Chanel. Me and her, one time we went to this event and I remember we were in the car together about to go in and Usher Bad Girl was playing and that is my jam back in the day in the 2000s, you already know. Um, so we were like jamming in the car and we were like, dang, I don't want to go to the party anymore or the event. I want to like stay here and listen to more music. And yeah, I don't know. Usher brings back those good memories. Usher, like old Usher. I'm not kind of into the new Usher music, but you know, it's okay. Still got love for him. He a player. Anyways, enough about freaking Usher. The, pl the little office desk is cleaned off, finally. <laughs> Um, yes, so today I'm basically working from home, got a lot of emails to send out, some I really neglected. Um, emails, I gotta do a conference call, gotta figure out my schedule for the rest of the following month, the following upcoming month, because this is, I believe, yes, this is the last week of January, which is crazy, oh my god, one month has gone by in the New Year's. I hope you guys are doing great out there, whatever it is you're accomplishing. <laughs> Gotta make the most of your day. Um, so yes, one month has gone by. High five, guys. <laughs> um, so yes, I have a lot to do today. And I'm slacking off in the cleaning, and I think I'm being very hard on myself because everyone's probably like, oh my gosh, Maria, your place is so clean. Girl. I got like OCD in me. I know I need to clean more. I know I do. Um, but trust me, I've seen worse. Um, so that is what's going on. I'm going grocery shopping and you guys are gonna see one of my friends tonight. Moran, I'm so excited to see Moran. I haven't seen her in forever. She is a great friend. She has such interesting like view. Like when we talk, I feel like we have such interesting conversations and it's really passionate, so yeah, I got mad love for my friends. Best believe that if you're in my friend circle, I love you. I love you with all my heart. All right, P.O.P., holding it down. <laughs> hey guys, so I am taking a break from um, emails and my computer work and stuff. Um, and I was going through my bag because what I do is I just stuff, I literally take my laptop everywhere which is how I am able to upload on my iPhone or like make videos on my iPhone is that I constantly have to have my laptop to transport and make more room on my iPhone um, throughout the day. So, so I'm taking my bag and I found these from last night and you saw them in the vlog before and I just wanted to talk about it because I remember as I was editing my vlog I didn't get a chance to explain what the turtle and this paper meant. Um, so she had us first um, go around, and these are actually tarot cards, but they're just scanned onto a piece of paper, and they have like the meaning. And I'm a very open person, like I don't dabble with tarot cards all the time, but I think they're very interesting, and I'm a person who reads horoscopes, so I think that's interesting too. I'm not opposed to anything, it's just that I don't make something my religion, if you know what I mean. Like I don't constantly always... You know, there's this saying where it's like, you can't believe everything you think, you can't believe everything that people say, you know, take and, pick and choose. So, I just want to share what it was saying, because you can't really read it, oops, there's my, my computer, can't really read it in the vlog. So, this is the world tarot card, and that's, that's what it looks like. It looks, to me, it looks like an eye, but if you look closer, these look like, um, flowers, flower petals, and then it looks like a sun. I don't know. It's really cool. So it says, the world, wholeness, completion. The world is the final card in the journey of the major arachnia. Ar arachnia? 
I think so. Um, it signifies completion, harmony, and contentment. It's rare to experience this energy as we are usually consumed by wanting, needing, and achieving. So when this card appears, contemplate for a moment the idea of being whole. Focus on the image on the card. Close your eyes and envision this radiating energy inside of you. What does it feel like? Where is it located? What blocks you from feeling a sense of wholeness each and every day of your life? So it was really cool that I drew this card because it's a pretty major card. And I mean, if you've been keeping up with my vlogs and just like in general how I'm feeling in this moment, I feel very whole. Like I feel very fulfilled. And it's very rare that I actually am feeling this way. Um, and I, and it's so it's so weird, but I'm starting to feel a little bit more overwhelmed as my month has gone by because, you know, things pick up, work, I'm now back in LA. But, you know, I haven't felt this fulfilled in such a long time. And harmony is such a big thing in my life because my sign is a Libra, so I like to have that balance within me. So within me, my surroundings, my friends, my family. So it was really cool and I felt like that was card that card was for me. And then I got this turtle. And oh my gosh, if you don't know me, I had this turtle back in the day. His name was BB and he was a TY baby, you know, one of those like stuffed animals. I don't keep him with me but um anymore. It's back in my home in Maryland, but I swear to you guys, BB was the real MVP for me. Like BB was my best friend. Like <laughs> you know, you'd sleep with stuffed animals. I slept I slept with my stuffed turtle and I don't even remember who gave it to me where I got it. But um it was this turtle and it had like a multicolored shell and like purple skin and like an orange um like a purple body skin and like an orange like neck and head. Oh my gosh. My cousin Nicole probably knows what I'm talking about when I'm referring to BB. Um, but yeah, that was my turtle and I always like kept him with him. And like to this day, my family still remembers BB because I still have him and we still like <laughs> like to laugh about it and talk. And I do keep, with, keep him, but I don't sleep with him anymore. But I got a turtle and I just love turtles in general. Even though they are very slow, they're a water creature, and I love their shells. This one is just all green, and then his head is like an ombre. It's so cool, and so the turtle symbolizes um, feeling a, a feeling very heavy for too long, or um, not physically, but like mentally. Like a lot is going so fast for too long even though this is a turtle, which is crazy because turtles move slow, it just means a lot is being um, rattled in your brain for such a long time. And um, this is like meant to, she said you can keep these and you know, it's like your spirit animal. <laughs> um, you know, so something to keep you in check and like, you know, hold it with you if you ever need to remember that meditation, the time where you had time to reflect and keep your chill so this is really awesome because it, it did symbolize it's crazy because I'm getting the world and I'm getting the um, turtle and I felt like the world is where I am right now and the turtle was how I was in 2014 like I was doing so much if you know what my schedule was like last year I was really trying to like hustle but for all the wrong reasons and not bad reasons, it's just that I, n I lost myself with spreading myself too thin. And we can do that from time to time. So it was really crazy. Oh, it was really crazy. And uh, sometimes, you know, we fall into those habits again. But that's, ooh. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say for now. I have realized it's also 2 o'clock and I have not eaten anything other than an apple, you guys. So I'm going to go have a full meal and actually do the laundry even though I said I was going to do it yesterday. Oops. Okay, bye. I just ate and I didn't even really eat. I had like a salad that literally had lettuce and tomato and dressing. <laughs> like, I think I'm having one of those very rare days where I actually just like don't want to do... I mean, I do want to do other things. Like, I don't want to have time to eat, which is really bad because I should be eating. Um, but I will be going grocery shopping soon. I just <clears throat> had to vlog because I just got off the phone having literally like a 30 minute conversation about, you know, women sticking together, 
women being about their business, being the better, being the better woman we are, we should be today in this generation. You know, handling our stuff and <clears throat> growing, being mature. And I just had to really get that on my chest because I really feel like women should stick together. Women should not be against each other. We don't need to fight over over petty things and have people look at us in a negative way because we are strong. We can do the same thing that men can do and equality and also we should be treated with respect. Just because we're a woman doesn't mean that you can degrade us and let us not do certain things because we're a woman. So maybe that didn't make sense, but you know what? All that you need to know out of this is that women are taking over and you better be ready for it. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, so I've been such a bad vlogger. I'm here with Guillen. And we are coming back from the Zion market because I went to go pick up some carrots and their tofu was on sale, so that was delicious. But it would have been better if I actually vlogged a bit earlier because we talked about some funny stuff. Um, but yeah, we had spaghetti. I well, well I'm clearly still I cleaned my up. Spaghetti. Yeah, I still have the spaghetti. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm not having a prefixy meal because um, Marin's supposed to be coming later. But, as you can tell, I was hungry. I guess I did need to eat today. Because <laughs> I only ate a salad before this. I haven't eaten anything. And you can't even finish? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. Eating. No. We encourage everyone to eat. Yeah. Well, I'm bulimic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's definitely kidding. Don't leave any comments saying any nasty things. He's kidding, of course, you guys. I have seen Gian eat before you guys do not worry i eat like a man mm -hmm. you know what i really miss what? i miss going to korean barbecue like all of us i don't why I'm so over that oh i guess so i've only had it like like uh, i've been like living in korea town for like three years no no four years now like Korean barbecue is just like everywhere. Like, That's very like, true. There's like one in every block. Yeah, there is. Like if you're in Koreatown and you know what it is living here. But it's here, so good though. It's, it's really good. There's like Korean restaurants every single block. If it's not Korean barbecue, it's like some kind of soup. Yeah, yeah. kimbap, something like that. And they're really good, but it's just, it gets tiresome. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it doesn't feel like fresh in your mouth sometimes. Like it just feels good. Not greasy, but it just feels like you're just eating heavy food. Yeah. 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 All right. So I'll see you guys later. Okay. So I'm prepping the dinner for tonight with Marin. She's on her way. She's trying to find parking. This is sweet potato with carrot, garlic, red chili peppers, honey, salt, and pepper. Then I got some tomatoes over there, but I'm going to put it with the pasta that's going in here. Ooh. Yeah. I made food. Marin finally found parking, so we're about to dig in. Yum yum. Guys, I'm with Marin. Hey. <laughs> and we just had <laughs> dinner, and I told her all about my vlog experience, and she's so stoked for me. And we just all had a conversation, like, of how great we are in our life right now. Like, we're right exactly where we need so to be. Happy. So happy. Yeah. Inspiring. So actually. yeah, so fulfilled. Like I feel like we're both doing what we want to do. We've yeah. we're slowly figuring out ourselves, and I feel like life will always open up new opportunities, even though we go through good and the bad. And definitely, yeah, we we're where you need to learn and accept too that like you're exactly where you need to be, mm -hmm. like in your life. So yeah. we had such a great talk, and I love being around Marin oh. and. Likewise. It's awesome because we want to keep doing this where we're like empowering women. So mm -hmm. you guys are definitely going to see more. Oop, low <laughs> battery. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you guys will definitely see more women in this apartment because you know what? We need to bring it up. Like we need to actually get on oh, it. Yeah. yeah. Bring each other up. Yeah, for sure. Create a support mm -hmm. system for our friends and networking. And I highly encourage anyone else to do that if you guys haven't already. Like woman power, really. Definitely. So, yeah, we're going to end the night here. So thank you for watching. I do this thing where I uh, send everyone lots of llama love, like I do this. Okay. So sending Dang. everyone <laughs> lots of llama love. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your day, had an awesome, or had an awesome day, and thank oh, you yeah. for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. Night. Bye. <laughs>